Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahshai by Asher HaKodash. And double honors to the elders and apostles that great millstone who were well. Peace and salutation all since their Achim. That are out there, of course, risking their lives and their freedom to bring out this the truth, which is the truth of the Bible and the Holy Scriptures. All right. Of course, Yahweh is the true, almighty, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. And his only begotten son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai is the true, pure names of the Heavenly Father and his only begotten son. In the Paleo Hebrew, which is in the Lashwan Kodash, which is the holy tongue, which you Hebrew Israelites, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those, of course, that have been scattered as a curse. Wrote the nations, and that may look like the nation, but your, your spirit bear witness with our spirit that you are Hebrew Israelite. You are, of course, supposed to call on the names of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in the time of trouble and distress and seek him in truth and sincerity. Disclaimer We are the Hebrew Israelites, we are not connected with any black denominated group, nor are we. A black extremist group. We are the Hebrew Israelites by blood. The anointed ones of the Bible. Who are the Lord's chosen people. The Lord's chosen nation. The nation in which. Have. The covenants. Alright. The blessings. The glory. The kingdom. Of course the. The coming. Rulership, dominion of the earth, the rightful owners, uh, the rightful owners of the earth, because the earth was made for our sakes, and you heathen, meaning the, the other nation, the Gawayam, the nations are not fit to rule, and Yahweh Hashem Shai is really showing. Of course, who is currently ruling? Who is the so-called white man? Who is Esau, Edom? Those who are ruling right now are the Edomites. The Lord is bringing them down right before our eyes. In diverse matters. Violent at that, I must say. In some instances. So, let's go into this particular article off of the rtnews.com. And it reads here. Trapper in Canada. Finds wife and baby daughter slain by a bear he just shot. Right, which this, I mean, this could be nightmarish. Imagine, of course, you shoot a bear. And then, of course, this bear actually put to death your entire family. So it goes into it and it says, Sock. A dream sabbatical in can 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 Canadian wilderness lock turned into a nightmare for a Canadian family when a bear killed a woman and her baby girl not far from their cabin when the unsuspected child's father was walking a trap line. Which, um, I wanted to go into this word for trap line. It's like a gin or a snare. Let me check real quick. Yeah, it just says a series of traps for game, which I believe as a hunter, which, um, if you know anything about Esau, Edom, the Lord, Yahweh Shemir Avashai, gave him certain blessings and. Part of, of course, the characteristics and traits of the Edomites is that they are hunter, hunters, all right, in which their blessing is the sword, which the sword is a vessel used to destroy and bring forth death, in which they do so, bringing, of course, murder, all right, or... In the Hebrew, of course, it will be um, Ratazach, which is uh, unrighteous killings that they do. 
they do that to uh, their well going back into it. We were brothers back then, but they you know broke that all right that brotherly covenant, in which these devils are to this day doing so and killing our nation off. In which they're gonna ramp that up, these damn devils, the Edomites, in a time of Yaquab Tazara or Jacob's trouble, which is a time of tribulation, which pressure is gonna be placed upon you, Israelites. And the Lord is really gonna show himself and save a remnant of his people, which is the 144,000 men, which are prophets of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Ha Nazabah Yom, all right, the prophets, which that's a prophet in the Hebrew is this uh, uh, Nazabah, I believe. Or let me see, Slach. Let me make sure I uh, check that real quick. Or nar, Slach, I believe it's Nabaya, Slach, not Nazabah. It's Nabaya, all right. So, say for example. Prophet Slock for me for the slip of the tongue. You go into the Hebrew word real quick just for profit. I'm gonna get it and then I'm gonna just continue with the lesson. All right, so of course, I can know that. Of course, you want to get into the Hebrew, you have to, of course, be diligent and search search it out. And Yahweh Shimmy, I was shy, will, of course, reward it. Right, so Nabaya, all right, all right, and I said ha before it meaning the and Nabaya, and I said yum, yum makes it plural, so the prophets, all right, of the 144,000 of the 12 tribes of Israel, 12,000 from each tribe, and of course, there's the rest of the one third, which is my member of the children, which will believe in the prophets, the word of the prophets, which. The prophets are nothing but the mouthpiece of the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai here upon earth. So don't be expecting some, some so so called like a, uh, so, you know the Lord Himself, as we say, to come down to talk to you and such. All right, we of course are angels as well. We're just tapping these. Chains of darkness being the flesh. We are messengers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. A body of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai servants. Okay. Now going on uh, to. Um, I'm going to go into. Uh, Esau being a what? Cunning hunter. Alright. Which. I'm not sure. Nay sure if this is an Edomite or not. Most likely it is. And uh, the Lord is bringing forth uh, Mashapat Yim or Wa or his judgment. All right. So going to it, it says here this is the book of Genesis. All right. The headings Bara Ash Yath 25 and 77. It says, And the boys grew, and Esau. Which Esau is, is that Aisha in the Hebrew? Which means wasted away is he? All right, Nai 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 Nair. All right, that's young boy. A young, all right, young man actually I believe. When you go into it, and I believe that I remember that from the ranking system. And you have I. Shaw. I Shaw. All right. Or I Shosh. Hey, we say I Shoshua. All right. Sometimes. All right. Which means wasted away is he. Was a cunning hunter. Which we have here. You got cunning. Which you got. You die. Which means to know. And you have Taza. You said Taza Yard, Taza Yard. All right, or Taza Yad. That's actually what it is, Lach. Which you have it here. It means hunting game, hunting. Okay. 
So this is one of the blessings of, of course, of Esau Edom, which Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. <laughs> it's funny he's turning his actual blessing against him, and you know this this certain manner which we have being covered in this particular article, which reading on it, it says that. Yeah, the tragedy happened Monday in a remote area in Canada's Yukon province. Local media report is citing a press release by the coroner servers, a local trapper, and they have his name listed here. Yes, Jermod Rochalt. Schultz or Rochalt activated an alarm beacon. After finding his 37-year-old partner, Valerie Thorait, probably French, uh, and the 10-year-old daughter, or in their slach, their 10-year-old daughter, Abadel, dead, or deed, or Mawath, they were found dead. In which you have it here, they appear... Well, we don't go off of the physical, off the judging a man off his physical, all right. But they're most likely Edomites through the spirit. It says, Rashot Rashot told the authorities that when he returned to the, the family's cabin after walking a trap line about at 3 p.m., he was charged by a grizzly bear. He shot and killed the beast on the spot. Some 100 meters from the dwelling, which is that the, where you live, all right, and went to search for Valerie and Adele or Abadel, or yeah, Adele actually, that's her name, which you see here pictured on the screen. It says, To his horror, he found them both dead or deed, apparently ravished by the same animal. He just put Dune not far from the cabin. Which you have it here. I mean, he may have thought he killed the actual beast. And Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, of course, showed the power of the beast of this animal by, of course, what? Him, him of course, getting back up. Okay, maybe he, of course, thought he done. You know, he's getting attacked. He shoots him. Beast drops. And then, of course, he go off, right on his on his way. But then later, of course, that you know, may, in in that midst of him going back to his dwelling, he of course finds what his family uh, put to death. Okay, which uh, I'm just gonna read. It says Rashult uh, said they went for a walk some time after he left five hours earlier. And met their demise. Okay, so he's saying that they went for a walk. So he 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 had shot him, and then he said he went for they went for a walk five hours earlier and met their demise. Which it says the family spent some three months in the wilderness before the attack. And this, of course, is the nature of the Edomites. Okay, being cunning hunters. All right. Skillful in knowledge of, of of course, trapping game, all right? And how about Shemuel Shai, of course, is destroying them using, of course, his certain beasts which he created, which we're going to cover that in this lesson real quick. And it reads, for of course, that notification which you on the phone. It says, both parents were enthusiastic and experienced bush people, all right, which I went through and showed you, all right? And it says, according to their friends, but Valerie's job teaching French, all right, which I mentioned again, um, maybe French and such, which, you know, in Canada, um, you have it where French, I believe that's the primary language they use up there. Okay. Uh, of course, you know, we got our people up there, Gadites up there too. And we also got... Um, Judah up there too. You got Levi. You got a lot. Or our people are scattered, so our people is all up there and such. Like you just go into the history, all right. But going on, and it says at uh, 
the, an elementary school in Whitehorse in southern Yukon meant they couldn't spend much time away from the city. After the birth of Adele, she had maternity leave to use. So when the baby was big enough to take the risk, the three went to a couple's cabin located near the border of the Northwest Territories. It was devastating. I just, I just couldn't believe it was at first Val, uh, Verena Cohen friend of Valerie told CTV Vancouver she was so full of love amazing or amazing she was so happy or uh, a char all right much to have a baby and being a mom it says Brian Melson a fellow trapper in the area said the entire local community is hit by this tragedy it says, you knew we go out there, all of us, we take our wives and our children and we live out there. And of course, that's the nature of these damn Edomites, okay? Being what? They're, they're, uh, you go into it, they are wanderers, okay? They are, um, what they call, uh, no, as a wanderer. There's a, there's a term in the scriptures that give them, a. Uh, it's, it's their title that is. It escapes me at this moment, but you may, due to the power of Yahweh Shemesh, I may come to me. Um, what, what, of course, he, you know, uh, the Lord placed on them different, you know, curse and such. All right. I believe it's, um, damn, I got to get it. Uh, but I'm going to, you know, for the, for the time being, I'm just going to go into the scripture. Which is going to be the book of Iowa or Slach. It's going to be the book first of uh, Book of Ecclesiasticus, the 39th chapter in the Prophet, which is part of the original King James Bible, 1611, which the so called white man who's Esau Eden with their Bible destruction group tried to, of course, t uh, take out of the Bible, in which it still is a part of the Bible. All right, just get you a 1611 Bible, all right, or, you know, just online, you have it. The Apocrypha, okay, 1611 on so many sites, which I have the kingjamesonline.org right here, in which I can access it as well, okay? So going into it, this is going to be the book of Ecclesiastes, 39 and 28, all right, in which I can actually pick another scripture, which I'm going to bring out verse 9, or verse, uh, 16 and it says all the works of the Lord Yahweh are exceedingly good and whatsoever he commandeth shall be accomplished in due season which is the time of course of that it's the time of the end if you don't know so this is the time of Esau's fall and uh, Jacob meaning the 12 tribes of Israel this is there of course uh, well starting with the elect all right this is our rise. Okay. This is that time. Now going into it. This is verse 28. And it says here. Sirach or Ecclesiastes 39 and 28. There be spirits. That are created for vengeance. Which in their fury. Lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction. They pour out. Their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Right. Which who, who made them? Yahweh Yahweh Shai. All right. Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai. All right. Okay. Created these uh, different beasts that you see that rock on the earth. All right. Which is you have appeased to pacify. All right. The demands. Okay. We got also the win over. <laughs> so this is all for the the, the wrath of Yahweh by which the Lord, if you know, I'm gonna say in the scripture that the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. 
Of course they slay the Lord's people And we complain unto him continually Okay Reading on and it says Fire and hail, famine and death All of these were created for vengeance Teeth of wild beasts And scorpions and serpents And the sword Punishing the wicked to destruction That's and that's a very heavy scripture. The teeth of wild beasts, in which the Lord used these what different wild beasts being a bear to put the death this man's family. Him thinking he put the death of bear, and the bear of course slaughters an entire family. He comes to that nightmare, in which that that nightmare of his calamity. All right. Must have enraged him He must have felt Absolutely perplexed Seeing that actual um, You say I could say uh, Destruction Or uh, Catastrophic event That just happened to his life Alright Devastating Okay So I want to go now To this other scripture Which uh, I'm going to go Actually It's going to be the book of Proverbs the first chapter in the 26th verse um and it says here i also will laugh at your calamity i will mock when your fear cometh and this this goes primarily to our people the two-thirds okay of the nation of israel so-called negroes latinos and the americans all right And of course, since our people have been scattered amongst the heathen, as as I say, you no, know, um, you know this applies to them as well. There's like foreigners with confusion of face. Going on, it says, "When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you." So that's how that's the nature of the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is comical. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is austere. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is everything. Yahweh means he exists. Alright, he to be. He's in everything. Alright. And he, of course, uses these different spirits. Alright. To, of course, do the work that he fashioned it to do. Which he used this bear to put this dude's family to death. Alright. Right, reading, and, and, and you know, you could you could go into it like, you can imagine this dude saying, "Oh my Lord, Lord, what happened? Why, why me?" But the Lord ain't dealing with Edomites, okay? Simple as that. Which I'm just gonna go down to the worst verse, uh, Proverbs one and thirty one, and it says, "Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way," which I'm liking it to these damn Edomites. All right, and it's, it's primarily for our two thirds, but Edomites it applies. All right, multi fold. All right, it says and fill with their own devices, wicked thoughts and such, the plans. All right, let me see. Let me go into that word for it. devices just to make sure. All right, what's that? Mawai Taza. Mawai Taza. Which is own device or device, which that's console, plan, device, okay? Right. New, going back. It says, yeah, therefore they shall eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices, their own plan. All right? Lord, he, he turned your blessing into your destruction. All right, simple. All right, but you have to understand that though these things are going to be occurring and they're going to come occur at a more rapid pace, it's going to be going occurring frequent during the time of Jacob trouble. You're going to have all type of strange beasts and apparitions and such. All right, spirits that are meant for vengeance. All right, maybe for vengeance, ushering, of course. 
the will of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Remember, this is all Yahweh Bashim Shai's movie. This is everything he created, which is I will um. Okay? And we at the end of the age, the world of Esau Edom. Alright, this is gonna be the book of Ayawab or I or Ah Yawab Slach. Um which means persecuted, that's Job's name in Hebrew. By Abariath, which is I'm gonna start here. Five and tw and twenty two. And this is what us Israelites, alright, of the elect. Okay, we say we're the hopeful elect because we don't know who is the elect. Alright, we're going to have a, a culvert from these different beasts that's going to be out there, of course. Putting people to death. Eating them. Okay, these beasts are going to be hungry because it's going to be a famine. Alright. And that beast, that beast was probably hungry. Alright, but going on, it says, At destruction and famine, though shall laugh, neither shall they be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Alright, which... If you read, of course, over, it's up a bit in verse 20. It says, In famine he shall redeem thee from death in, in war from the power of the sword, which the sword is a so-called white man. All right. It says, Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither though, it says, Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Because we're going to have that hedge of Yahweh Bashim Shai. The names of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run up in it and are safe. Roughly paraphrased. And it says that destruction and famine thou shall laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. For those shalt be in league with the stones of the field. And the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee. And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle, thy house. All right. Shall be in peace, and thou shalt visit thy habitation, and shalt not sin. Okay? And this it goes into some other blessings that's going to come all right, to the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. Habitation, you got Nawah here, thy habitation. Which actually, I was going to go into the, not this word, actually, I was going to go into the dwelling. Okay, maybe the same. Let me see. Let's see. You got here. What's that? A howl. A howl. Which means here you have it tent. All right. In this case, well, you have it in this case with this uh, particular trapper, hunter, his cabin. All right. <laughs> He came back to a slaughter in the cabin, his dwelling. So the Lord wasn't dealing with Edom. He's not dealing with you Edomites. He's not dealing with you two thirds. The Lord's gonna destroy you in all diverse matters. So with that, I'm gonna say, call all you like y'all, Bashim Rashi, Bashim Rachakadash, and Double Honor. So that was the apostle that great millstone. Who will well be such a Jesus and Shirachim? They're risking their lives and their freedom to bring out the Samoth, which is the truth to scriptures. Trapper in Canada finds wife and baby daughter slain by bear. He just shot. Shalom.